And our word for today on this memorial of St. Charles Luanga and Companions Martyrs on this Monday, June the 3rd, our word, our words for today, his own. His own are words for today, taken from our reading from the second letter of Peter, chapter 1. Beloved, may grace and peace be yours in abundance through knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has bestowed on us everything that makes for life and devotion through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and power. Through these he has bestowed on us the precious and very great promises, so that through them you may come to share in the divine nature after after escaping from the corruption that is in the world because of evil desire. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, virtue with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, self-control with endurance, endurance with devotion, Devotion with mutual affection, mutual affection with love for this very reason. What's the reason? Because it's by God's own power (laughs) and his own glory. He's the one doing the thing, brothers and sisters. This belongs to him. He has, by his own perfect will and desire, has made it so that we can partake in this, be sharers in this thing. And the sharers of what? In his own divine life. Everything good that he is and everything good that he has created, he has opted to share with us. Why? Because he loves us. How does he do it? By his own power and for his own glory. That's it. So what does it do for us? It compels us to do the thing that he is asking us to do. To do the good because he is good. To avoid the evil because evil can't touch him. And he has called us into a perfect life with him. And he has given us every grace that's needed in order to accomplish this. But he knows the result of the thing. And that's what we see in the Gospel of Mark chapter 12 today. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests and the scribes and the elders in parables. And this was one of them. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, built a tower. Then he leased it to the tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard, but they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed, so too many others. Some they beat, others they killed. And then finally, he sent them his son. (laughs) Boy, is that a good description of us. And God the Father is saying through this, it was mine. It's mine. It has always been mine. The vineyard is mine. I built it. I put it together. I called you into being that you might participate in it, benefit from it, be a part of it. But the the result of that thing has always been brokenness and sin. But even though you have done that, I continue to send you the prophets, the patriarchs, all of these godly people. And then finally, I sent my son. The result has always been the same. Death, destruction, persecution, murder. As happened to the only son of the father, Jesus Christ. And yet it was that death that reconciled us to himself. Because the stone, as our gospel reading declares, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. And it is wonderful in our eyes because it is by the Lord. It is his plan. It is his purpose. It is his desire. Through these, he has bestowed on us the precious and very great promises. Through what? By his own glory, by his own power, he has given us these things. And so we stand with him, not by our own doing, but because of his desire And when we give ourselves over to him, then we are the beneficiaries of his glory and his power working in our lives that we might share it with others as well, that they too might share in this divine calling, this calling that God has on each and every one of our lives to share what he has and who he is with us. His own, our word for today.